Microphones, they power modern day theater, television, the news, and the internet. I could not be speaking to you right now without the ingenuity of a microphone on my side. Microphones are so vital to modern day society, I don't think it would be a leap to say that along with radio and computer, microphones and speakers kickstarted the information revolution. But despite how ingrained the digital spoken word is in our culture, many people have little to no idea how microphones even work. Let's change that. Welcome to Engineering Plus, where it's my goal to make sure that people understand engineering, the building block of our society today. Let's dive in. To understand how a microphone works, we must first define what a microphone is. To be put simply, a microphone is nothing more than an input transducer, or what I like to call a transformer. Like the way your eyes reformat light into electrical information that your brain can utilize, microphones reformat sound energy into electrical information. The reformatting, the transformation process, is what makes microphones very unique and Rube goldberg ass. But if you can understand the simple idea that we are changing sound which consists of air pressure variations into an electrical signal which consists of voltage variations, then it should not be difficult to understand. For this example, we will be covering dynamic microphones, which is just one type, but they're the most basic and most common in stage and theater settings, are areas with noise. Dynamic microphones work in a process known as electromagnetic induction, which is the process of using a magnet to generate electricity used in power plants. So to give you the rundown, all parts of a microphone are centered around one one integral piece known as the diaphragm, and then when sound waves from your voice, which can also be described as air pressure fluctuations, hit this piston known as the diaphragm, the diaphragm vibrates like a tuning fork, and it vibrates around a magnet generating electricity. The frequency at which this electrical signal is sent down a wire determines the audio signal, kind of like a Morse code. So let's recap. Your voice sends air pressure fluctuations that we know as sound to the head of a microphone. Your voice hits a piston on the microphone known as the diaphragm. The diaphragm vibrates accordingly to the vibrations of your voice and then sends an electrical signal in the same pattern by moving around a magnet in a process known as electromagnetic induction. Your computer decodes this signal and profit. You have your electromagnetic signal that you hear in a speaker, which I'm going to explain in another episode. Thank you so much for watching. This video was an entertaining undertaking to make. I intend to make more videos like this for the foreseeable future. I understand that I'm a real small channel and I really want to improve at a fast rate. So if you have any questions or criticism or even praise for me, I would appreciate it immensely.